Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is normalize to range. I'm going to run my quick little example, and it's going to be very boring. We're basically going to see a one, and that's it. Our normalize to range node basically allows us to put in a value put in a minimum and a maximum for our range, and then it's going to map that value to the range. So let's go ahead and look at the node. If we right click and type in normalize to range, we'll find it under the math float section. And this is going to be our default setup, which is zeros for everything. We have three inputs, a value, a range min, a range max, and then our return output value. So let's look at this in an example format. So here, I have a value of 100 in a range of 0 to 100. Now, a normalize basically is a way to get things where they're normalized or made uniform or made in a way where you can compare them easier. So let's say, for example, let's do another normalize to range node. And we're going to put in a value of 1. We're going to put 0 and we're going to put 1. We'll do it like this. and We'll do a zero, there we go. And we'll look at these two. Now, if we were to be like, okay, well, we, here's our value in our range, and here's our value in our range. How similar are they? If we use our normalized range nodes, this is going to actually return the same value, and we'll know that, oh, these are the same. These are the same ranges. Normalized, these numbers are going to be the same. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we have a, a one. In a range of 0 to 1, 1 is going to fall on the top end, obviously, and it's going to return back basically a full value or a 1. Let me plug this in and hit play. And you'll notice it says 1. If I was to do the same thing with my previous node here, 100 for my value in a range of 0 to 100, and hit play, we get back 1. If we cut these in half, hopefully you'll know what we're going to get. In a range of 0 to 100, where does 50 fall? Our return value is going to be a 0 to 1, a normalized value. 0.5, 50 50 is 50% of 0 to 100. And it's the same thing we did here. We input a value of 0.5 and did it properly. Between 0 and 1, where does 0.5 fall? Well, that one's simple. It falls at 0.5. And that's it. That's what a normalized range does. Now the nice part about a normalized range is it works really well with something like a percentage or progress because you're getting a 0 to 1 and our progress bar, for example, takes a 0 to 1 range. So I have a progress bar in our scene, and it's this little bar here. If we were to take the progress bar and we were to do set the value, and it's not a set percent, there we go, and we were to tell it to set the percent based on a normalized range, we'll plug this in here. It's really simple to do it with our normalized range node. So let's take this value here and we'll plug it into here and we'll hit play. And you notice our little bar at the bottom is now 50%. And it's super simple when you want to do things rather than doing a divi division over a division, a number over a number using division, such as max health divided by current health equals my current percentage. The normalized range makes it easy to visualize it. For example, my minimum is zero. If I hit zero health, I'm dead. My maximum range, oh, right now I have some number like that for health. The nice thing is you don't have to care. And my current health value is not with a U. It's somewhere around there. If we hit play, we'll find I have almost no life. Probably a too tiny of a number. Let's put another one in there. Let's put a five in there. There we go. I got 0 0.075 health, almost 10% health. We, of course, do this something a little more realistic. Say we have 14,756 health out of 24,000. 24, we can find we have basically 62% health, and our bar is nicely organized and set up. And, of course, as things go up and down, your bar takes a simple 0 to 1 value, which is easy enough to put in here. So normalized to range is nice when you need to normalize a number in a range rather than simply doing a math to figure it out. And it's nice and visual as you can see here.